All right, let's just remind ourselves of the cache workflow that we introduced a few videos ago. The first one is categories. We've set up our categories. We renamed uncategorized to general. And then as you can see, we have three published articles in each category. If I click on the article manager now, I can see all of the articles that we've created. If I want to filter by category, I can do so quite easily and just see any of the articles by category. All right, we're ready for the last step in the cache workflow, and that's show. Now, just as an aside here, there's many ways to do what we've just done. We've done all the planning for you, so we did all the categories at once, then all the articles, and now we're going to do all the menus at once. But that's just one way to do it. You could do the cache workflow for each article if you wanted. I prefer this method, especially if all my content is ready to go. All right, the cache workflow then. The last step is show. Go ahead and click on menus and click on manage. This is the menu management area. We have one menu called the main menu. It has one published menu item, and that's the home menu. If you clicked on that, so we only really have one menu item, and of course, here it is over here in our main menu. Go ahead and click back on menus and click new. We're going to call this the about Joomlaville menu. And we'll just call it about for the menu type. Click save and close. So now we have two menus the main menu, and about Joomlaville. Just as a reminder, this is what we're looking for today. We're going to create a number of menus down the left-hand side for each of the categories that we've created. Now, I'm going to twist this just a little bit because these are each single categories, and I'll demonstrate that in just a moment. But we're going to have different menus for different sections of our site. All right, click on About Joomlaville, and this brings us into the Menu Items section that has obviously no menus yet. Go ahead and click New, and let's call this Joomlaville History to match our article. Go ahead and click on Menu Item Type, and this is a fantastic place to just stop for a minute and learn about the Joomla menu system. The Joomla menu system doesn't have to exactly match your categories, but a lot of people do it that way. You can have menus for articles, Configuration Manager, Contacts, News Feeds, Search, System Links, and Tags, and we'll do a few of these as we go. For now, click on Single Article, and now select the article, and you'll notice there's four things that are required here. The title, the type, the article, and the menu. Go ahead and click Select on Article, and so this is the Joomlaville History menu item. Go ahead and click on Joomlaville History. Click Save and New. We'll do all three at the same time. Let's do Joomlaville Location. Click on Select, Articles, Single Article, and then select the article called Joomlaville Location. Click Save and New. Now, Joomlaville Overview. Click Select. Articles, single article, and you guessed it, click select and choose the overview article. Click save and close. And now under the about Joomlaville menu, we have our three Joomlaville articles. Now we can rearrange these if we want as well. Let's click and drag overview to above history and location. So the last step here is to actually place the menu somewhere on our site. If we go over to our home page and hit refresh, none of those menus are showing up yet. That's OK. We have to place them in what's called a module position. Just a quick bit of uh, layout and design here. The template manages where all of these things go. And these regions are called module positions. This is a module position that's containing the main menu module that displays the main menu. So that's what we need to do. So back over on our site, go to Extensions, 
Modules and click New. Again, a, a module is a piece of code that places something in a module position or a region. Go ahead and scroll down and click on Menu because we're creating a menu module. And this is about Joomlaville. That title will show up at the top. The menu is selected already for us about Joomlaville. And the only other thing we need to worry about is the position it's in. For now, go ahead and just put it in the right middle position, please. And we'll talk more about that later. Click Save and Close. Head over to your home page and hit Refresh. And now About Joomlaville is over here on the left-hand side. And here are the links to my articles. Congratulations, you've just finished the cache workflow. In the next video, we'll add the rest of the links and finish this section up.